Today I'm showing you how to make three healthy and tasty whole food plant-based breakfast recipes perfect for any day of the week. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to Choosing My Health. I'm Melissa, health coach, holistic nutritionist, and plant-based food instructor, and I teach you how to easily transition to a whole food plant-based lifestyle and thrive. On this channel, I share plant-based education, recipes, and encouragement. So if that's your vibe, please consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make three tasty, easy whole food plant-based and vegan breakfast recipes. And if make ahead breakfast is your thing, these help with meal prep too. So breakfast can easily get left behind, especially if you're a beginner and you just don't know where to start. Like you're just used to eating eggs and bacon and you, now you're like, how do I even turn my breakfast into something plant-based? Listen, I got you. These recipes work really great for us at home and they're fully customizable. So you can put your own twist on it. All right, you ready? Let's jump in. Oats are one of the healthiest grains on earth. They're cheap, and this is a yummy way to enjoy them. Start out by washing your berries. I'm using strawberries, but you can use any fruit you have on hand. I'm gonna slice my berries and layer them at the bottom of my Pyrex dish. Next, Make some oat flour, just blend dry oats until they're very fine and powdery, and make extra to save for a future dish. Now, we're gonna pour some nuts, seeds, and coconut flakes into a bowl. Save about one third of your nuts, seeds, and coconut flakes for topping. The nuts and seeds are gonna give our oat bake a nice yummy crunch. Then, in a large bowl, you're gonna combine your oats, about two thirds of your nut mix, black seed, cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. One thing I really like about this recipe, y'all, is that it's fully customizable. You can use any nuts and seeds you have on hand. I use hemp seeds because they're especially high in protein and walnuts and flax seeds for their heart healthy omegas. And you can also use any fruit you have on hand. Like I personally like berries because they burst in your mouth with this dish, but any fruit would really be amazing. And you can easily make several batches for the week or freeze them for later. Now in another large bowl, we're gonna combine plant milk, maple syrup, almond butter, vanilla, and mix this thing really well. We're gonna pour out our wet ingredients into the bowl of dry ingredients and mix them together. Next, just spread the oat mix on top of your layered fruit. That simple. And finally, top it off with the rest of your nuts and seeds and more fruit. We're gonna let this bake for 45 minutes until the sides are crisp and the oats have firmed really nicely. Let it cool a little bit before slicing and serve this deliciousness as is or with a little yogurt and maple syrup if you wanna be fancy. Our next recipe is this simple and highly customizable breakfast potato hash. First, we're gonna chop our potatoes into cubes. I don't always peel my potatoes, but today I decided to, so it's totally optional and totally up to you. Place in a large bowl and season with onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, rosemary, really any seasonings of choice in a splash of water or veggie broth. Mix everything to evenly coat the potatoes. And you're gonna bake for about 25 to 30 minutes until lightly golden and crisp. So while you wait for your potatoes to finish, chop your veggies. I'm using onions, garlic, red bell pepper, zucchini, and yellow squash. My favorite thing about this recipe, y'all, is that you can use any veggies in your fridge and pair with any plant-based protein to keep you fuller for longer. Today, I'm pairing this hash with pinto beans. Of course, 
any legume can work. Now in a nonstick pan, saute your onion in a little veggie broth or water until translucent. If things start to stick, simply deglaze your pan with a little more liquid if necessary. Now add your chopped veggies, beans, coconut aminos, more seasonings if you wish, and mix. Next, add your potato, spinach, salt and pepper to taste, and then cover the pan just until your spinach wilts. Top off with cashew sour cream and scallions or any topping of choice. This next breakfast idea is for my plants and lovers. It's grain free, quick, and absolutely delicious. For this recipe, you're gonna need some ripe plantains. Peel your plantains by cutting off ends and gently score from top to bottom. Peel off the skin as if it was a banana peel, FYI. The peel makes a great plant fertilizer. Cut your plantains into thick chunks. Plantains look like large bananas. They are technically fruits, but they're mainly cooked like vegetables. You can eat them when they're yellow or green. When they're yellow, that's when they're ripe. And the darker the plantain, the sweeter it is. If you buy a green plantain, you can ripen them by storing them at room temperature for about 10 days, or you can cook them green, much like you would yucca or a potato. Now place your plantain chunks in a blender with cashews, dates, plant milk, ginger, vanilla. Blend until silky smooth. Pour your blend into a medium-sized saucepan on low heat. Pour in the rest of your milk and your cinnamon. You wanna make sure you keep stirring to avoid lumps. Continue stirring until you reach your desired consistency. The more the porridge cooks, the thicker it gets. It usually takes me about five minutes to get a nice consistency. Top with more cinnamon and a little bit of lemon zest. So comforting. All of these ideas are a delicious way to enjoy a healthy plant-based breakfast. They're filling and some could even work as a dessert. The breakfast hash y'all can also work for lunch or dinner. And speaking of lunch and dinner recipes, check out my what I eat in a day video right here and my recipes playlist for super nourishing plant-based meals. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't yet. And thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you have an amazing day. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one.